Hello Raider Nation, this is Duntoff. It is Tuesday evening, about 8 o'clock, almost 8 o'clock at night. So as you can see, I'm at the headquarters. It's May 12th, 2020. Wanted to get out of here when it started to get dark because I was informed that they were starting to light up some of the stuff. So there you go. This is the back side. I'm on the, this would be the west side of the building. So you can see the Raider shield does light up. And then those letters there do not. Or at least now they don't. I don't know if they'll have something shining on them. So it's looking pretty cool. Right now, the sun is just setting here. I'll swing around. It's looking pretty cool. So we always have some nice sunsets here in Vegas. And the strip is down this way here. So that's north of where we're at. Okay, so we can check the building again. So the back shield is on. And if you notice the one on the side, they don't have this one on yet. So they're still working. When I was at her the other day, they didn't have any letters yet. So we can see they still don't, but they're getting all them brackets on. And I've had some questions few people asking me if they're gonna have lights in the field area the outdoor fields and I don't know I don't really see any I mean there's nothing like a few at a regular you know the field lights so I don't know if they're gonna have them then so far no all right we're gonna get around to the front to see if we could if they have anything else on All right, I'm now on the north side. So we can see this side shield and the front shield is, are not lit up again. But then the building is, you can see inside the field house. Okay, so here's the field house. You can see the windows down the side, how they're lit up. So we got lights on inside there. front this is what I wanted to come and see they were working on this the other day when I was here so with these lights under the port of Kashir the camera because it's getting dark it's not focusing the best but we'll walk up closer so we can see it then you can also see office part Still very windy, just like when I was at the stadium this morning. The wind is supposed to stick around, I guess, all night tonight again. Okay, we're going to walk around to the front to try to get a better view of these lights. Alright, I had to go to my cell phone because the regular camera is getting too dark for it. how well this is going to show up on here but it's not real crisp so underneath the port of Kashir you can see they got those LED lights they were working on that the other day and we got the Las Vegas Raiders lit up that looks real good and then also the parking lot area See, they got all like the light poles and everything working in there right now too. And you can see the silhouette of the mountains and the that's the west side of the mountains there. They're the spring mountains. Okay, I'm now standing. This will be a very northeast corner of the property this will be the drive down the north side then you get a good look at the there. 
And it appears like they have the same thing going on inside if you look in through them windows there. It's looking good and it looks nice with the sign lit up. I would think the one on the south side that says Las Vegas Raiders that's facing the field area, I think that'll light up also. Should be the same thing as that. All right, and right where we're at, they're getting all the footers ready to put in. And they're actually, this is the way we walk from. So they're starting to widen the road out this way. I'll come back when it's light so we can see this stuff better. But just wanted to get the sign lit up. It's going to look good. Then once they have the torch in, we'll have that right in the front of the drive up area also. Hello Raider Nation, this is Duntov. Today I'm at the Raiders headquarters. It is Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. So I am on the south side. This is the side with the field, the three fields. So I was out here last night to check out some of the lights. So that will be added to this video. It was looking pretty good. So we're just waiting. The field looking good also. I think all these guys over here right now, they're working on getting this fenced area all finished over here. So word is that the stadium isn't getting the grass in until June now. Mick Akers from the Review Journal, that's the latest he said. The original thing I heard was it was supposed to be this week. If you check out the live cam you can see that it, nothing's happening. All right, so we're gonna look up. I think when I was here last night, I didn't notice any letters on the building on this side. I'm almost positive there weren't any. Now we can see three of them. So this will be the part that'll say healthcare. If you didn't remember, so it's Intermountain Healthcare Performance Center. So these people working up here right now, they're putting in the mounting brackets. Oh, getting zoomed out. They use that template, that paper is the template, and then they mark off where they gotta put the brackets. So it looks like there's another crew over here. They might be lifting letters right now. I think that guy just had one. Now he just laid it down. There we go. Sorry for the shake. So it looks like they have their own, you can see the wires coming down. I think they have their own sky lift, so they must be bringing letters up right now. We're just a teeny bit too short to see. I think they just brought some up though on that 
on that uh, lift right there. They're loading the letters onto the roof and then they're going up. All right, so I'm pretty sure they're putting them up. And then we have the other crew that's still up there. You can see them on the rooftop there. Pretty sure they're the crew probably that are washing the side of the building. Which would be going over there. Okay, gonna swing on over. We'll check check out the stadium from here. All right, we have we still don't have any official date yet for opening. There's a few casinos that are saying they'd like to open on the 22nd. I think that's what Treasure Island is saying. But there's no official date yet. I think they're waiting on the gaming board to give them the final approval. And then MGM Corporation is saying that they'll probably open two casinos at first, which so far I heard it'd be New York, New York and the Bellagio, where those they would open them at only 25% capacity. But I guess just to try out all their new, you know, perimeters that they got to follow to see how well it works. So still waiting for an update on that. All right, I'm gonna go around to the front and get some footage over there. Maybe when we get over there, it'll start lifting up some letters. All right, I am now on the southeast corner. We can see them still working on the building, getting the uh, brackets up. So on the video when I was here last night, so remember this, this shield wasn't on. These letters for Las Vegas Raiders down here were not on. So it was the shield on the back of the building and then we had the Las Vegas Raiders here. And then the lights under the Portica Share, which is the roof over to drive drive up area and those lights are actually still on i don't know how well you can see it from here you can see they have them led strips underneath still got them on and then this one lights up also So it looks like they put the curbing along the road here. So you can see that black truck, this white pickup. So it looks like the curbing, they got it all the way down. Remember this street here, they voted in to change it to Raiders Way. Originally it was Executive Airport Drive. So they they put like a turning lane in over there to get into the south entrance. And then last night I was showing they were digging up and getting ready. They're going to have a turning lane to get in the north side entrance also. Down that way past them palm trees. Okay, so if we look now, we can see them on the roof. They're starting to lift the... They can see, See a letter starting to get lifted, or at least loaded into the net. Alright, so 
so they bring them up so there's it's actually hooked up to a line there and there's someone on the roof waiting to help lift it up at first i thought they just put them in the sky lift and just carried them up with them but i guess he helps guide it up because they're a lot bigger than them las vegas raiders they put on the front of the building but that's how they did that one if you remember my video last week okay then the other guys that were doing the brackets look like they're coming down all right so while we're waiting for that i'm gonna pan back over here to you can see this here they're starting to put the fence up so this is right along the main road here so pretty much looks like the same kind of fencing you know the same style that they're putting up at the stadium around the sidewalks That's looking good. And then we got the drive. We got a tree in the way, but the drive that goes down the south side here. See a lot of the fencing here. Looks like they're going up with that next letter. So we got the T, so it should be going right in front of that H over there. Remember, it's health care. That's the word they're working on right now. The guy above that's on the roof is helping pull that up so they can line it up.
see they go up pretty quick once they get it up there mount it on them brackets and secure it down all right there you go I'm gonna walk down a little more to try to get more straight on to the main building see if we could see if they've been working on anything where the El Davis torch is gonna go I'm gonna head down that way all right I am almost exactly straight on I just went a little off center just so I could zoom in so this area right here this is where the memorial torch is gonna be mounted the stuff I'm already prepared for it I don't know if people can see anything inside there still working in there so right inside that doorway right here this is where I had that photo that someone took from the inside and that shows they got the Raiders Shield logo right on the floor in there. Let me swing over. We got a secret door over here. Oh, they just closed it. Someone just opened it and let someone in there. can't tell what they're working on there but if we look straight up so you can see the lights that are on underneath there and then last night it was a cool effect and then if you look at that video from last night then through the glass above that it looks like they have the same design on the ceiling inside the building it's looking pretty good all right so yeah they put the curving in then also right there along the that would be the north entrance to go down the north side all that curving wasn't there last night either when i was walking over there because i actually park by these white buildings they got a parking lot there and then we just walk over so that was not there. And so they're pretty much putting a turning lane over there. All right. You can see they still haven't paved any of the parking area or the drive in. I'm assuming that should be coming soon. We got a little bit over two weeks before this gets released to the Raiders. all right so we got night shots from yesterday and then today they're still hanging signs so if you're not subscribed and you'd like to keep getting updates please subscribe to my channel raiders 1967 you'll get updates on this new headquarters as well as the stadium so raider nation stay safe and thanks for watching i'll talk to you next time